will not lose. The devils of the Koroya dream of what they would do to her. The possibilities are endless. Another woman, alone, arrives at Iwatsu. A complete stranger, her fate intertwined with the Benia. She draws her blades, determined to put an end to things. Her name is Ayame, and she longs to return home. Ronzo took the plans with him.
The Kuroya's numbers are many, but not as many as the Benia. <laughs> You're pretty smug for someone so old. But don't worry, that's not gonna last much longer. <laughs> it doesn't matter how old they are. Ain't nothing like the face of a woman's suffering. That's quite enough, freak. This is more like it. I get two pretty things to play with? Keep laughing, little man. Now, now, let's not be rude to our superiors. Let's get this over with before you make me throw up. Come <laughs> on. 
You gonna be all right? Not to be rude, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. Don't worry about me. I've been through worse. Hang in there. Light, darkness, and the haze of dreams. Tension, fatal shadows, evil will perish in a flash of crimson. She rushes to Ogin's side, but a moment too late. A note leads the way to a playhouse in Iwatsu. Thoughts race through her mind, but her legs move quicker. Faces appear and fade. Ayame... Elders, Futaba and Hitoha, Ogin, Zenosuke, Kichigoro. But one face crowds her thoughts, the face with one eye. The face belongs to Juzo of the Kuroya. Juzo would cover the world in black. Rin stains the earth in red. The land is already blackened with his taint. 